Designed by the architect Luigi Mandipelli, born Ludwig van Bittel, the Royal Palace of Caserta was built by Charles of Bourbon on the lands of the Caetani of Salmoneta family, purchased for that purpose by the king in 1751. It was erected far from the sea, away from the possible eruptions of Vesuvius and away from pirate attacks by hostile navies. In a sense, Caserta would stand in Naples just as Versailles stood in Paris. One could reach the palace by taking the road that, in a straight line, led directly from Naples to the world's largest royal residence. The mansion one encounters, accessing it from the elliptical square in front of the palace, consists of a five-story building. The central gateway, defending the gallery, also known as the telescope, anticipates a perspective view of the park, drawing the visitor's gaze over the fountains up to the artificial waterfall of Mount Periano, some 3,000 yards away. The park, which covers more than 10 hectares, is built following the natural course of the hill behind the palace. In the center are pools decorated with sculptural groups, the dolphins, eos, and ceres. Culminating in the fountain of Diana and Actaeon, placed where the park's path come together. In designing the scene, Van Vittel adhered to the narration of the myth that one can read in Ovid in the third book of Metamorphosis. Diana, caught naked, bathing by Actaeon, quickly transformed into a stag and mauled by his own dogs. English garden areas, small dwellings and Italian gardens are on either side. The water that fits the monumental fountains comes from the Carolino Aqueduct, which transfers it from Madaloni from the slopes of Mount Aburno. The five-story building has opposing facades, one facing the square the other the park, and encloses four inner courtyards for a development of about 47,000 square meters of floor space for 1,200 rooms. A grand staircase leading to the apartments appears in the center within an octagonal vestibule where the four courtyards intersect. The path winds between the throne room the Palatine Chapel, several royal rooms, and the beautiful Seasons rooms. Next is the Palatine Library, consisting of three neoclassical rooms. The elliptical hall follows, which currently houses the Bourbon crib.
Therefore, we move from the Lithical Hall onto the magnificent Casertana Picture Gallery with portraits of the sovereigns, including a section devoted to the splendid landscapes Ferdinand IV commissioned from Jacob Philip Hacker. Along with the Carolino Aqueduct, the Royal Palace of Caserta joined UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1997. 